Oh my goodness. Them kids is still outside. And they are so loud. Hey everybody, what is up? It is your favorite health and beauty professional, Kiki Carr. Today we're going to skip Makeup of First Skincare, which is a series in which I teach women of color how to get rid of their dark spots and acne at home. Okay, so for a tech for me. And today we're just going to do a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me it's not going to be very long or extensive because you know i already have my brows done they aren't special i'm just uh about to put on a little concealer and a little lash and a little lip gloss and then i'm going to be out the door but i did want to come and have just a chit chat get ready with you because i just need to get talk to you you know what i mean when i talk to you I'm talking to myself as well and I'm like you know what I really have to bring this message because we tend to beat up on ourselves so much and I want us to count our blessings okay so I'm gonna start with a little bit of my hourglass um, vanish concealer and I've just been using this as my foundation as of late because why not <laughs> like that's why I bought it a flesh tone um, concealer I might put a little bit of foundation on I don't know I don't really want this makeup look to be very extremely heavy just a little bit is okay but yeah, I wanted to um, kind of just talk to you guys today because I have been beating up on myself so bad as of lately. Like, it's been a lot of stuff going on at the shop in which I'm not going to get into today, but we will talk about it soon. It's just been a lot of stuff going on at the shop. And, you know, the enemy, he loves to attack our minds. And in my head, I'm like, and in our head, we're, we're, we're like, we should have this by now. We should be there by now. We're this age and, you know, I'm still unmarried and this and that and this and that. And we compare our lives and ourselves and our journeys to other people. And we beat up on ourselves and, you know, we are hard on ourselves because of our experiences and our upbringings and stuff like that. Like, you know, not to discount it or anything or discredit it. Our upbringings are our upbringings and our experiences are definitely our experiences. But, you know, all things lead to our good, our greater good. And I have just been like beating up on myself as of lately, you know, because I feel like I've done the right thing. I feel like I put put all of the pieces of the puzzle together in the right place. And I'm supposed to, you know, two plus two is supposed to equal four. Like if you get two and you, you add another two, you're supposed to get four. Like that's supposed to be the formula each and every time. Like, but that's just not life like that's not real life that's not how it goes sometimes if you take two plus two life will give you 12 you know what i mean and and that's just how things go and i've just been like really being very hard on myself like man you know like you shouldn't be going through any of this because you did everything that you're supposed to do you got the college degree you did this you did that and um it's like why are you going through these things and i had to really god really had to check me god really had to check me because yes my upbringing is my upbringing yes i did everything that i was supposed to do yes i my life is not where it i saw it being by now um, as a matter of fact, I feel like nothing at all has worked out in my life in which I planned it to work out. Like everything about my life, <laughs> it is not at all what I planned and what I wanted and what I intended. And God really had to check me on that because he was like, okay, yes, your stuff, your, your life isn't 
where you pictured it being, but I have blessed you and kept you still. And, you know, he checked me because I, I ended up seeing like a publication and I'm going to link it in the description below. I ended up seeing a publication and it just made me count my blessings because you think that you're going through some things until you like see what others are going through. And then that's when you're like, okay, yeah, it could have been worse. You know what I mean? Like to wake up with our health, to wake up in our right minds to wake up and we're not facing homelessness and shelters and being you know impoverished and starving and we have food on the table and clothes on the back and stuff like that to wake up with those types of situations it is a great 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 blessing and i know it's really hard to look at your health and you know look at your health and say well at least i have my health and at least i have my right mind i know it's really hard to look at those things and say you know that's a blessing because you're probably like man like what what kind of um life is this <laughs> like you know what i mean yeah i have my health but i'm still it's still hard as crap and you know um i know it's hard to look at your health and being in your right mental mind as a blessing but it really 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 is to be to wake up above ground period is a straight up blessing you know what i mean like to be alive to still have the opportunity to still have another chance to still be amongst the living that is a great blessing right there to still be amongst the living and then to be amongst the living in your right health and then to be amongst the living in your right mind like those are all great 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 blessings and i really just had to take a moment and step back and you know thank god for those things that I in which you know I have clearly been taking for granted because you know beating up on myself and being hard on myself about this and about that it really it really makes me look ungrateful and you know that's why I wanted to um come to you guys today and bring a message of just having gratitude and being grateful because honestly when you check out the um links that i'm gonna link below the dis in the description like my problems they are not all of that bad okay like um i'm not gonna even go into what i'm worrying about because <laughs> you'll probably be like are you serious you know what i mean it's a big deal to me um but in the grand scheme of things when in comparison to like what I could be going through, like what the people are going through in the description link that I'm going to put down there. Like what I could be going through, it could be a lot worse. Like I ran across a man, he just like his his health was failing. He looked so bad and it was just like, oh my God, like I could be going through that. Like I have my I have my health, I have my daughter she has her health you know we we are we're good we got food on the table we got clothes on the back we good you know what i mean yeah of course you know what i mean we um i i would want my if i had it my way my life would be in a totally different direction and i would be doing different things and stuff like that but such is life like and this is um also just helped me i also have just more peace just being grateful and just saying hey you know what it is what it is like i there's nothing that i could do you know what i mean this is where i'm at in life this is how things panned out for me this is how it mapped out this is how the cookie ended up crumbling and you know what do I have to complain about at the end of the day? Really, what do I have to complain about? That, you know, I'm extremely educated. <laughs> that, you know, I have a master's degree in chemistry. And, like, that's the route that I chose to go down. And that's what I wanted to do with my life. Like, because every single career choice that a person has or option that a person has, it doesn't mean that 
that's what they want to do with their life. Like we all have a bunch of different options that we could low key um, do and pursue. But, you know, that don't mean that that's what we want to do. Like I like fast cars as well. I like driving fast, but I don't want to be a NASCAR, you know, race car driver or anything like that. And, you know, being that my career did not pan out the way I wanted it to pan out and, you know, it just, it, it, it can be depressing. It can make, make you feel like it was a waste. It can make you feel like, oh man, I wanted, I could have been doing something else with that time. I could have been doing something else with that money. And at the end of the day, like that was the choice that I made and I definitely like don't regret it. So like, what am I, what am I really truly complaining about that? The fact that I'm extremely educated, what am I really truly complaining about the fact that I get to now do makeup and do something that like I actually love very much and something that comes to me naturally and something that you know I have always done just for fun just because I love doing it just because you know it makes me happy and I have done it for free and I will do it for free if I ever had to do it for free I would never stop doing this because it's what I love so much like the fact that I get to do this, you know, instead of being a doctor, like something that I pretty, I pretty much took for granted because it's something that I just, it just always just came natural naturally to me and something that, something that I always just loved and something that I always just did. I never saw it and looked at it as that's a viable career option. It was always something that I did for fun. It was always something that I did for a hobby. It was something I did on the side as a side hustle. It was never anything that I looked at like, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do for my life's goal, for money and this and this and this and that like okay so am I really like am I really complaining that this is what I get to do um for money at this time what am I really complaining about the fact that I get to do this and not you know be a pharmacist like is that really is that really something to complain about that I'm on a path that I I'm doing something that I would do for free I'm doing that for money. Like, is that really something for me to complain about? You know what I mean? So I just um, definitely, you know, have to count my blessings. And I wanted to, you know, come to you guys and just encourage you to be encouraged, to stay encouraged, to count your blessings, not to beat yourself up, not to be too hard on yourself. You know what I mean? Because... If we knew what the future held, we would all make different choices. Like, we don't know how things are going to pan out. And we have to be comfortable that we made the decisions that we made and we did what we did at the time, feeling like that that was the right thing to do or that that was the space that we were in. Like, I can't be upset that the space that I was in was wanting to pursue a medical degree. How am I going to be upset that that is what I felt like I wanted to do with my life? It's nothing to be upset about. That's the path I went down. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I did. And, you know, I had to eventually pivot because it did not work out in my favor. Like, that's not what god's plan is or was for me um he had something totally different for me he instilled in me what i do right now he's like hey i gave you all of these gifts and i want you to use those and i really do feel like i had to walk this path in order to get where i'm at now i've always done like youtube videos and made beauty videos and stuff like that but it wasn't until now that I really feel like my YouTube videos are something of value. Now, I'm not knocking anybody else. I'm not knocking any type of influencer. I'm not knocking anybody who, you know, 
um, is not as knowledgeable as me, but I, I feel so much better about bringing content to the world that is actually solving a problem and actually helping people. It really, I really feel so much better about it. Now it's okay for people to, you know, hold up a product and be like, Oh yes, buy this. This is great. You know what I mean? That's like, that's okay because we're going to all spend our money on something. So I'm not saying that, you know, is anything wrong with that, but I feel so much better when I hold up my product and I say, buy this because this is going to solve a problem for you. This is going to help you. This is going to fix your skin. This is going to make your under eye bags look better. This is going to, you know what I mean? I really enjoy the fact that I'm helping people and that's all I ever wanted to do. Like if somebody wants to go to school to be a doctor, they want to practice medicine, that's because they have a heart that is is of service they want to help people you know what i mean um and let's say just doing it because their parents told them to do it or something like that but if they truly want to do it like i wanted wanted to do it or like i still want to do it because i still do it i still do it in my practice today i still am in a medical profession and it's just because like i really find the human body to be extremely um fascinating and when someone is in that vein, they really, really, really have a service heart where you want to like help the sick. You want to help people that's in the hospital. You have a, you have a service heart. You have a good heart. So, um, for me to be, you know, um, a per for me to be in the position that I am in right now, having come this far and go all of this way and my channel end up being a, basically a medical channel um, where I help people get rid of their dark spots and acne at home, like really what do I have to complain about? You know what I mean? I couldn't say that I could start this sooner because sooner I really wasn't, I wasn't an esthetician sooner. Sooner I wasn't trying to be down the path of helping people with their skin. I was doing makeup and then I, I became, I got in trouble with my skin and then I had to figure out what was going on with my skin. And when I found out what was going on with my skin, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you know, sell the products that I use to help my skin. And then that eventually even involved into going to school, learning what estheticians learn, which is product knowledge and um, all about the skin and facials and different things like that and diff the different modalities that we use in the skincare clinic for anti-aging and for acne and everything else. Um, eventually learning that trade and then being able to come to you and say, you know what, this is how the skin works. This is why these products will work on you. These are the ingredients that you need to use. These are the ingredients you need to look for because when I was going through it with my skin, I had none of that knowledge none of it i spent a whole lot of money and a whole lot of time and a whole lot of trial and error trying to figure out what the mess was going on with my skin and like how i could get it back to normal because i refuse and i refuse to this day to feel like you know i'm just gonna live like that because i i knew that it was something called a breakout i knew that it wasn't something that had to like i had to live with and that it was something that was permanent because i saw my skin being clear already so i'm like this is not how i look you know what i mean like when I was a teenager, I had horrible acne. It cleared up beautifully by the time I was like 25. And then when I got 30, it was like it came back and it came back with a vengeance. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, what is going on? So I started spending all of this money on all of this stuff, trying to figure out what was going on with my skin. And I have so many trial and so many error 
and so much money wasted trying to figure out a solution and I finally did figure out a solution and after figuring out a solution I was able to then go to esthetician school and learn okay this is this is why those things worked for your skin all of the knowledge that I learned in esthetician school, all of the knowledge that I learned in college, studying to be a doctor, like everything has just all come together and it has all aligned. And um, that is something that I have to be grateful for. And we have to, you know, just take it one day at a time with God's process and his will accepting the fact that we are blessed it gives you so much peace it just gives you so much peace about all of that about your past about your upbringing about you know shoulda coulda wouldas and all of this stuff like that you don't beat yourself up when you know and you feel and you trust that everything is working out for your greater good and everything is you know working out for you and not against you and that's just been something that I have really been having to remind myself about like you straight you doing good you know what I mean you're okay like stop beating up on yourself about xyz this that and the third you're doing just fine like it's people out here who would would cuss you out beat your butt for complaining about this life that you have they would probably take a life they would probably literally kill to have your problems like so i just wanted to come to you real quick with just a quick word of encouragement just to tell you guys to stay encouraged stay in faith stay prayerful know that everything is working out for your good Okay, um, don't let the enemy take control of your mind over your head. That's where he gets you. That's where he works. His magic is in your mind by making you feel defeated. You are more than a conqueror. God is, is out here. He is blessing you. He is for you. He is not against you. Everything is working out for your greater good. You are blessed. Always remember that things could be worse. And when you take that approach in life, I'm telling you, have so much more peace. I'm saying my eyes are tearing up. I'm, I'm about to cry, but I'm, I refuse to mess up my makeup because <laughs> it's done. Like I said, you know, we're not spending a whole bunch of time on makeup today. But um, yeah, that's really all I wanted is just to tell you guys that you are more than a conqueror, that God has your back. You know what I mean? Don't beat yourself up about this, about that. Don't shoulda, woulda, coulda. Please trust on and believe that you're going to look back and you're going to say, that's why those things worked out like that. That's why it ended up playing out like that. Because this is how it was supposed to end up being. Like this right now. If those things had happened, I wouldn't be here right now. And that's how I feel. Like, if I didn't do the whole going to school to be a doctor thing, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be able to talk to you from a standpoint of a medical standpoint and tell you guys, like, what's going on with your skin and what's going and how you can help yourself and how you can help yourself um with different types of products and stuff like i would be able to talk to you from this standpoint that i talked to you from had i not had i just been a makeup artist and not went to school and there's nothing wrong with people who are just makeup artists but i like i said i really feel good about the fact that I'm more than that now. I'm more than that. That's that's the vehicle. That's what gets people's attention. That's what, you know, that's what has opened doors for me. But I am so much more than just a makeup artist. 
at this point in time in my life. Like, yeah, we're, we're talking about makeup, but we're talking about makeup, the best makeup for oily acne prone skin. And we're talking about um, how to care for your oily acne prone skin because people honestly just don't know. And I know because that's how I was. I didn't know. I didn't know why I was breaking out. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to use. I'm listening to all of this different advice about, you know, acne and how to treat it. And none of it worked. <laughs> Absolutely none of it worked. And a lot of it made it worse. Um, either it broke me out worse or it burned me or, you know, it just did so much stuff. And then, I, I, like I said, I just refused to believe. I just said to myself, it has to be a better way. And I know that it's a better way. So I went the all natural route. And I started using all natural products that I curated. And, you know, the acne went away. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to bring this to everybody because this is an all natural acne solution. I know it works good. It works for me and blah, 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 blah. And God said, no, I don't want you to just stop there. I want you to also be able to educate people about acne and about their skin, whether they buy from you or not, whether they use your all natural solutions or not. I want you to be able to give them the knowledge. It's the knowledge that truly ended up helping me at the end of the day. It's the knowledge because... I can use stuff. I don't have to use all natural solutions. You know what I mean? At this time. I don't have to use all natural solutions at this time. Do I prefer it? Yes. But do I have to use it? No. If I have a break, a bad breakout right now today, I know every step that I need to take in order to clear that breakup like that. Like for me, it'd be going quickly because my acne is not very, very severe. But depending on the severity, oh yeah. It, it 30 give me 30 days with you give me 60 days with you if you have severe acne you know what i mean give me give me give me 90 days with you if you have severe acne i'm telling you i know like i've learned the secrets and this is just like the path that i had to take and i trust in the lord and his will for my life i appreciate him i'm covered I am grateful for everything. You know what I mean? I'm grateful for everything. We all have problems, like each and every last one of us. We all have money problems, to be honest with you. Like, we all have money problems. I was watching The Millionaire on um, Instagram the other day go live, and she was complaining that she had to pay like a million dollars in taxes or something like that and if you're if you're rich and if you're a millionaire you would think that you're like oh okay boom right cut the check here you go you know what i mean but that's really not how it works with you know millionaires her money is not just in the bank like that it's tied up in different assets and stuff like that and that's she have money problems right now like she have to pay she have to come up with a million dollars that she don't have so you know when we see all of these different things it lets it lets us know that we are not alone um it lets us know that you know we could have a whole different set of problems yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to talk to you guys about today It's just counting your blessings, taking it one day at a time, knowing that you're fine, knowing that everything is going to work out for your good. And if you're like really sitting up, just kicking yourself, kicking yourself, kicking yourself, kicking yourself, girl, know that that's the devil. Tell that enemy to go. Sit down and go back to the pizza hill where he belongs because there is no reason that you should be kicking yourself about the choices that you made. You should be grateful to 
to where you're at where you're at in life you should know that everything is working out for your good and not against you and you should know that you are being brought to the place that you're at for a reason and you sh you're going to also know you should know also that one day you're going to look back on the time in your life in which you, where you were kicking yourself and you're going to say that's why I had to go through that because if I didn't go through that I wouldn't be where I am right now so this is the finished look I tried to do two little messy buns let me know what you think in the comments also what about the makeup like you see how short of a time it took in real time and this is what i do on a normal everyday basis i hope you guys liked it if you did be sure to subscribe like i said if you need help with your skin i'm here for you and i'll be sure to see you on the next one Mwah.